What's up everyone, it's Fusion Animations here. Welcome back to Fusion's Basics and Animation. I know it's been a while, but uh, shut up, I don't care. So a lot of people have requested this, but this time we're doing masking. And if you don't know what masking is, I'm gonna read a description that I got off of Reddit that it's gonna put it as simply as possible. This is by Reddit user C47man. In animation, you use masks to cover up parts of the image in certain places. Very often, you'll have a situation where, for example, you have a red ball and you want it to go behind the tree. However, the tree was painted onto the background, and you can't just move the ball behind it. To get the ball to look like it is moving behind the tree, we use a mask. Basically, you draw a mask where the tree is, and you tell the red ball to not be visible whenever it is overlapping the mask. You end up with the illusion that the ball is going behind the tree, when in fact, all it is doing is going behind a mask. So I hope that was a simple explanation of at least what masking is. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to mask a texture onto an object, and also, how masking can be, can be used in object animation. So say for example, we want Grapefruit's face to go to the side like this. I'll be showing you guys how to mask his face so that way it can give this illusion that he's looking to the side. So let's get started. <laughs> All right, let me move Grapefruit to the side here. So to start off, we're gonna mask a texture onto a, onto a shape. So now for a texture, you can just simply look up a texture, like a wooden texture or a stone texture. There are some pretty good textures out there and they can really bring an image to life as, you've, as, you, as you see right here on screen. So we're gonna mask this wooden texture onto a shape. First, we need to make a normal shape. We need to make, we're gonna make it brown like this. So now we have a shape and then this bitmap. Select both of them, hold shift and press both of them. And then convert them to a symbol. We're gonna title this wood floor. All right, so now if we double click and go inside, now let's distribute both of these to layers. So distribute that to layers and distribute that and distribute that to layers. Okay. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to convert this bitmap to a symbol so that way we can actually alpha it and add different effects to it. So let's just title this wood texture symbol. There we, there we go. So now what we're going to want to do is let's take this shape. Let's just title this shape just so it's easier. Now we're gonna duplicate this layer. Move this above it so we have a top layer, then, the, then, our, then our texture, and then the shape. So for the mask, most people, what most people do is they make it red, just so it's easier to distinguish from the natural shape. You don't have to if, you've been, if you practice for a while, but it is nice to help distinguish each layer. So now what you want to make sure is you want to make sure the texture is right under the mask. And so then let's just right click this and click mask. Then now you'll see that the texture has gone away. Where to go? And you can see that it locks these layers. So just unlock them. And you'll see that our texture is still here. But because a mask is a window of how how much of this image is shown. If we only put a little put if a little point what the hell if we only put a little part of this texture here and we lock this we can see that only part of it appears so i hope seeing that helps familiarize you guys with this a little more i don't even know if that was correct english or not but so now if we do this we can see that now the texture goes into the shape so now what we want to do is we actually is now this actually stands out too much so what we can do is well first off let's out Click this so we can make the make the mask an outline so we can actually see what we're doing. And then what you want what you might want to do is alpha the texture. So here, as you can see, it's already alphaing, which already looks a lot better. So just maybe go 30 plus so let's just try let's just try 50 for right now. And then you can see it already looks a little more cartoony. But we want to go even further. So let's try 20. Now, actually, let's try 30. All right, there you go. So now if we click out of this, we can here, let's just move this to the center. We can see that now, if we stretch this out and just lay it right here, we have a pretty good wood texture right here. And then one thing you can even do is you can actually blur this too. So click on blur, and then let's just up this. And then voila, check that out. You have a nice wood floor right here. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. So that's how to mask a texture onto a shape. Now I'm going to show you guys how to mask a character's face. Like this lad. Okay everyone, so now we're going to learn how to mask a character. One technique that masking can help do with an object show 
is it can actually help mask a texture that an object actually has. So say for example, baseball from Inanimate Insanity. You can see that when he moves, his lines actually move to the side alongside his face. And another example from a, re from a very recent object show is Object Explosion, you can, you can, where you can actually see Jawbreaker's texture go move around with their face. That's all done using masking. Ba basically, they have a huge texture and they're able to move it around with the face inside the body. Now in this tutorial, we're actually just going to be masking his face. So let's get started. So what we want to do first is we're going to take the body. I have the leaf separate, but you know, that's, that's unimportant. Now we're going to do the same thing that we do with the texture and we're going to duplicate the body. And then move it up above. And then mask it. Alright, so now, now this is an essential part. Make sure you do this. Because if you don't, then you'll end up, you'll end up kind of messing everything up. So be sure you duplicate the symbol. Let's just title this mask, grapefruit. If you don't duplicate it, then you're gonna end up, then whatever changes you make while making it a mask, you're actually gonna do to this, to the original body. So you don't wanna do that. All right, now let's go inside. Okay, so masks really only work if a thing is a shape. So as you can see, this is all a shape right here, this inside. However, the edge of the grapefruit is a line. It doesn't say here, but it is which means it can, be, it can be manipulated like this. So first we want to take everything on these layers and we just want to cut and then paste it on one layer. So now everything is on one layer. Right here at the top, it does, this doesn't matter because we're gonna get rid of this anyway. So now what we want to do is we want to take all of this, go to modify, shape, convert lines to fill. So now we can see this line is actually a fill just like the shape. So now it moves like that. All right, but now the last step is we can take all this and make it red, and there we go. So now we have a perfectly good shape. All right, hold on, let me fix this part right here. And there we go. So there, now we have our mask for grapefruit. So now what we wanna do, go right here, click mask, and make sure you put the eyes and the mouth within this mask. So now there you go. So now, so now to actually animate it, we're gonna click outline again on the mask, just like we did before. So we can actually see everything that we're doing. So he's in this pose. Now let's go a couple frames. Let's go to like just frame 12 or something. Let's let's make a set of keyframes. So now we're actually gonna have him lean this way and move his face as well. So here, let's rotate his leg slightly. Take his entire top half. Make sure the mask is included. Cause if you don't move the mask, you're gonna, that's gonna be a little bit of trouble. So now let's rotate it. And now let's just take the face and move it to the side. And here, let's move the leaf. Just, you know, why not? So there, now we have this, this frame, and this frame. So now, so, so now just select a bit inside here, right click, create classic tween, and then let's add easing. We, let's go ease in out quad. So now, if, so now you can actually see it if you locked all these, if you lock all these layers, so now let's see how this looks. Hey, there you go. Now his face is masked and it goes to the side properly. All right, so those are the basics about masking. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned next week for the next episode of Fusion's Basics in Animation. Thank you guys for watching. Maria, 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 Maria.